Pepsi. Coke tastes better to me. There, I said it. It would be nice to look into the future with a crystal ball. No. Through the years, our success at Pepsi has been built on understanding what consumers want and what our customers need. The right product by skipping the right several place health codes. at the right time. Today, consumers are looking for lighter, more refreshing beverages. They're looking for variety, looking for change. Our customers are looking for a product mix that will add to beverage sales and bring traffic to their stores. But look at industry trends. The sale of traditional carbonated soft drinks is slowing down. There's still a big market, but it's not growing as fast. As the total beverage company, we know the right product may mean new products. So we've decided it's time to make one thing perfectly clear. It's Crystal Pepsi. And the time oh is now. There's never been a product quite like it. Crystal Pepsi. A whole new cola experience. A comp Not really. It was basically just Pepsi in a translucent can without the food dye. Completely different kind of soft drink. That's exactly how my father describes it. With a unique cola flavor. The clear choice for Pepsi, the consumer, and our customers. Honestly, I do like the way they, that the bottles look here than they do now, because honestly, I do like that kind of minimalistic approach to the logo. Instead of the one now where it kind of looks like shit. And the reasons are crystal there, clear. I said it. Crystal Pepsi is an important part of our total beverage inventory. I love how that palette's not even fucking wrapped. And it's sweeping the nation. Why? Because Crystal Pepsi is a cola, and America loves the cola taste. For more than a century, generations of drinkers have consistently chosen a cola. Damn, that's as an old ass drink. fucking commercial. It's Pepsi. We were drinking Pepsi back when the Indians were chasing us. Get shot by an arrow, drink a Pepsi. Kill a bunch of Indians, drink a Pepsi. Burn a village down and give them smallpox, drink two Pepsis. Honestly, like, Crystal Pepsi, the drugs. Yeah, it is, like, RC is kind of underrated. Like, RC actually tastes better to me. Like, I understand I might get fucking drawn in quarter for saying that. Like, right now, the people at Pepsi are like, we have to kill that fuck right now before he rats us the fuck out. Kill him! Considering the fact that most major corporations don't give two shits about anyone. <laughs> I don't give a fuck who he is. Kill it. When it comes to cola, nobody does it better. Crystal Pepsi builds on our reputation. And like, nobody does it better. That reminds me of that fucking thing. Like, no one runs like a deer. Nothing runs like a deer. Well, of course nothing runs like a deer, because it's already a deer. To be honest, it would be better if soda wasn't a thing. Like, honestly, there's no way to really be sure, though. I mean, the real reason that a lot of people have health issues, it's not from indulging in it, period. It's mainly just overindulgence. Just like when it comes to smoking, like, marijuana or cigarettes or alcohol, even. It's all a matter of, like, lack of self-control and just overindulgence in something. People can be happy with it just so long as they actually learn moderation. That's why I'm actually, I've cut way the fuck back on my soda intake. Like, most of the time now I'm drinking sweet tea, fruit juice, shit like that. Mainly because of the fact that I'm, I'm trying to cut back. And our trademark. It's the first new soft drink in a while to fly the Pepsi banner. And it's new. Like I give a fuck. Formulated to meet customer demands it's head new. on. That makes for it a better, lighter, not even more refreshing soft drink. About Everything Godzilla. about Crystal is new. From its... It's not really new. They just added a little bit. They just took a little bit less sugar out of... They took a little bit of sugar out of the fucking Pepsi. And then what happened is they just took the fucking food dye out and put it in a translucent can or bottle. That was really all they did. There was no real change in the taste, except it was less sweet. That's the thing my father remembers most about it. I've actually asked him about it. It's like, what was Crystal Pepsi anyway? I wasn't alive for that. He's like, well, what happened is they took the they put, took the food dye out of Pepsi, they took some sugar out of it, and then they sold it to us in a different looking bottle trying to tell us it was something new. It was basically just the same shit. Imagine you got a Pepsi, you put it in a clear glass, and you drank, like dumped like half of it out. <laughs> yeah, some people just have like a like a natural like gag reflex when it comes to that much sugar. Too much of a good thing can be bad for out outlawing something because some people are irresponsible isn't the way to solve it. Exactly. Not just that, but the fact is it also created the underground market in bootlegging, so it allowed people like Al 
and Bugs Moran to get like a huge like liquor racket going back during Prohibition because it basically created the, it created an extra way for them to make more money besides prostitution and, and gambling and stuff. It created another way for people like Uncle Al and Bugs Moran to profiteer off it because now they had an, another demand that they could meet that other people might not be able to compete with. And that's what kind of allowed them to get their foothold for the longest time. Honestly, I don't know why, but for some reason when I drink that Galaxy flavored Coca-Cola, it tastes like fucking peanut butter to me. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just that since everyone has different taste buds slightly, that it might have slightly different flavors or very different flavors to different people. Because I know some people say it tastes like cotton candy, some people taste like cherry coke. To me, it tastes like fucking peanut butter, and it's the weirdest fucking thing ever. It's like, why do I taste peanut butter? What the fuck is this? I look at the bottle thinking someone somehow fucked with me, even though I bought it from the vending machine at work when I got it. I'm thinking, like, that someone just, like, sneak into this fucking vending machine, plan out which fucking one I was gonna buy, and just decided to, like, just somehow make peanut butter a liquid and just dump that shit in here and seal the cap like nothing was wrong with it. Yeah, like, a lot of people get, like, a cotton candy taste, but for some reason I got a peanut butter kind of, like, fucking flavor profile from it. It was, some, it was like, the weirdest shit in the world. Because I thought I, I thought I just, like, mind-fucked myself. Like, what the fuck am I tasting? It tastes like peanut butter. What the... Cause I thought I was losing my fucking mind, but a buddy of mine, he had, like, he got, like, the same flavor from it. It's like, no, dude, it tastes like peanut butter to me, too. I don't know what the fuck it is. I don't know if it's just different people and different taste buds. Like, they have different flavor profiles. Their palates are different. Maybe that's what does it, but I don't know. Hang on for a minute. I gotta dip under my desk. I gotta plug in my computer real quick. Because the problem is I had to unplug my computer cord while my phone was charging. I'm hoping that when my new desk is in that I'll be able to actually organize the shit a bit better because right now I have my PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 2 on the fucking floor like the PlayStation 3 is like resting on top of the PS2 the PlayStation 4 is under the little coffee table that I use as the desk when I'm writing or drawing something and my TV is sitting on top of that fucking shit and the whole time I'm hoping to God that nothing horrible happens and it doesn't fucking fall through like some fat fuck walking on a thin walking through a thin floor in a duplex. New taste to its new packaging. It the look in that lady's eyes is like she just took a hit of pure crack cocaine. Took 18 months oh, and over 3,000 varieties until we well, you sit there in a the lab mixing it like methamphetamine. We don't want to tell you how many of our chemistry interns died making this. Till we refine the perfect taste for a clear cola. When making soda turns you into a fucking meth lab. <laughs> Crystal Pepsi is a whole new beverage experience with a new flavor. It's not just a regular cola without the color. It looks like the fucking tonic water or that fucking seltzer water. Crystal Pepsi tastes to me like a more subtle cola. I think that's the best way to say it. It doesn't taste like uh, any other clear drinks that I've tasted. It's got a different taste. It didn't taste like the vodka that I've put inside my fucking flask that I keep hidden at work. I think the idea that it's not caramel colored and it's clear uh, makes it seem like it's a lighter drink. It it makes me think that they might be trying to subtly hint that nothing brown is welcome here. Part of me thinks that if, if, if like, Crystal Pepsi was reintroduced today, people would think it's, like, some sort of racist statement. Tonic water. Yeah, my great-grandmother drank that shit a lot for her muscles. Like, she was active, like, all the way down to, like, the last few months of her life. Like, honestly, that... She was someone that everyone's going to miss and everyone does miss because she lived every moment as best she could. But the thing is, though, like, if, if Crystal Pepsi came out, I'm worried that people would say it's like some sort of racist statement. Well, well, the Pepsi's not brown anymore. That means they want people that are not white gone. Like, no, it's just a fucking drink and it's a marketing campaign. It's just designed to reintroduce a product that they've shelved for a long ass time. Like, remember back when Pride Month, they reduced, like, an all-white Skittle? Because white is the fucking 
like it's the light spectrum you get when you combine every fucking color. So the Skittles are already rainbow colored. They had to make it one color that meant every color. And people took it as a racist thing. Like, no, it's like it's because a rainbow is literally every light spectrum being displayed, at least visible light prisms. And they were just trying to show that they were willing to accept to be inclusive. Like, the weird thing is, the only, the only fucking lo company that wasn't changing their logo was the fucking Ubisoft and EA that were ran out of the Middle East. Because they'd actually received death threats from crazy fundamentalists over there, as well as their own company internally not feeling comfortable doing it. Mainly because they might be concerned they'd get lynched. Besides, Crystal Pepsi is mad, but not a racist Exactly. That's the thing that scares me, Oleander, is the fact that when people say anything now, even if they don't mean anything negative by it, people are up their ass about it. I mean, I remember when people were, like, trying to rape the fuck out of James Gunn metaphorically because of something that he said almost 20 years ago. And then people didn't give a shit about Amber Heard when it came to her, like, openly being caught abusing Johnny Depp. By the way, this mug is probably one of the best things I've ever gotten for my birthday. My best friend got me, like, a Jurassic Park Park Ranger mug and a Jurassic World cookbook as birthday gift. So, if you see this, man, I don't think you will because you don't really watch anything I do like this. But still, I appreciate the fact that you're my friend. Thank you. Oh god, that shit. And again, fuck the film. Like, that's the thing. Like, some, some, some films that are based on books do exceptionally well. And others are just fucking horrific. Like, there are, there are very few film adaptations that I can actually say I genuinely enjoy, enjoyed. Because even though they didn't stick too close to the subject matter, there were some things I just... Like, here's the thing. When I read when I read and listened to Watchers by Dean Koontz, I enjoyed the story all the way through, but I also felt sympathetic for The Outsider because it really didn't want to be the way that it was. It was just made that way. And I felt kind of bad for the poor fucking thing because it was, it hated itself because it knew what it was. It knew it was different. And because of that level of self-awareness, it hated Einstein and hated its creators and hated people. You can't help but almost feel bad for it because it was like Frankenstein, essentially. It was made by a creator that was completely apathetical to its suffering and what it went through. And because of that, it turned out like Frankenstein. It basically went, it set out to destroy its creators and destroy whatever it felt was like an affront to its existence. But at the end, it accepted its own death because it just hated being alive. Because as soon as it believed Einstein was dead, it started crying because it realized that it killed, like, the only thing that would have showed any real respect or compassion was its brother, essentially. And he had believed that he'd killed it. Now, the, mo the movie adaptation for Watchers, now, I did, they were not great. I'm not going to say they were perfect. They really weren't great. But I would still say I enjoyed those ad those adaptations, that series, just because of the fact that I appreciate that they were at least trying to stay somewhat true to the subject matter. Same reason I enjoyed Jurassic Park and the Lost World so much is because even though things were changed a bit here and there, they still cared enough about crime's work to keep it consistent with what was actually said. However, one movie that was based on a book that was, like, one of the shittiest fucking adaptations I've ever seen had to be, like, uh, like Dean Kuntz's Odd Thomas being adaptations. Yeah, sorry, my camera had a fucking stroke. Like, I don't know what the hell happened with my camera. It's like, my camera just lost its fucking shit. Let's see here. Okay, there we go. Like, I think my camera was just having, like, a mild stroke. <laughs> it's like, well, fuck you, I ain't working. Alright, let's get back on track. But, like, the Jurassic Park novels were good. The films were decent. They were fun. But some of those adaptations, like, on Thomas's Dean Koontz. Like, Dean Koontz's Odd Thomas. That movie was fucking terrible. Crystal will appeal to the health-conscious consumer. And the average junkie. With 100% natural flavors, no preservatives in regular or diet, and no artificial ingredients. Well, wait a minute. 
how do you make a soda or a cola without artificial ingredients? Because you'd have to distill everything to properly mix it. Like, again, this whole thing is, like, it's weird because when you say that, it doesn't sound true when you actually put real thought into how it's made. Crystal is low in sodium, has fewer calories, and it's caffeine-free. So all of the appeal that the Pepsi would normally have is completely removed. It's a big hit for people looking for a carbonated beverage that's light and uniquely... I do, I do like the bottle, though. I do like the aesthetic they went for. Refreshing. There's also Diet Crystal for soft drink lovers looking for a soft drink that's even lower in calories. If you need a soft drink that has no calories at all, you might as well just drink some fucking water. Never go full George Orwell with seeing everything as a political statement, kids. Sometimes a cigar is just a cigar. Exactly. Like, it, it's just, a smoke is just a smoke. They're not trying to make you smoke. They're not trying to tell you not to. They're saying, we're just offering it. It is your decision to decide. Crystal's look is as distinctive as its taste, mm -hmm. with packaging as pleasing as the product itself. Crystal Pepsi's appearance uh, is unique. It's got the blue base cup. It looks like a, a beautiful package. If you look at it, you have to look twice and say, wow, that's a cola in there. I want to try that. Crystal and Diet Crystal are packaged in plastic and glass, in clear bottles, in a variety of popular sizes. And in boldly designed new cans. Honestly, I think they should have kept the design for those cans, because I, I do like that kind of, like, red fading into blue. I like the kind of fade that they have going on in the boundary between the two halves of the can. Like, they should have just stayed with that design, really, because it, it's aesthetically pleasing. It's not, boom, it's all blue. Because the problem is if it's just one solid color, it doesn't pop like it should. For dispensing in vendors or packaged in six and... Mmm. Crack-Cola. 12 packs for supermarket shelves. Here we go. We're putting this bullshit over here. The new look we will invite shit. consumers to taste crystal. The unique flavor will get them Perhaps to buy shit. again and again. The goal of crystal... And then eventually they'll become addicted and fat slobs and they will become slaves to the Pepsi Corporation. It's coming to the point where they will start sucking dick for crystal Pepsi, just like how people will suck dick for crystal meth. Okay, that's the second time I'm gonna get hit with some shit for that. Crystal Pepsi is crystal clear. We've mm -hmm. created a beverage that will re-energize the carbonated soft drink market. But the market wasn't really crashing it was still going if it's not moving it's not crashing a soft drink that will respond to consumer tastes a soft drink that will bring increased sales and traffic to our customers and a soft drink that will make money for the company and our commissioned salespeople crystal pepsi is creating a new beverage category all its own that's why it's the perfect flagship product in the total beverage company and if you're working on commission, you better push this shit harder than people pushing a baby out during labor. Who here wants to be, to be, who wants Crystal Pepsi to be permanent? I have no idea. I feel like they're targeting meth-addicted neo-national socialists with their advertisements. <laughs> if, you're, if you're a neo-national socialism and you like Crystal Meth, this is the drink for you. Crystal has done great. I mean, uh, we, we can't keep it on the shelf. It sells. Everybody... Everyone's always swarming the stores. Next thing we know, everyone's been up for six fucking days. No one has slept and cars flipped over and on fire because we run out. He likes it. It took the market by storm and I don't think anybody was really... One of my ears is all the way on the side of my head. Like it's trying to crawl its way around the back of my scalp to meet the other one. Ready for the amount of volume that it actually did. Uh, right now, I, I see no major competitors out there for Crystal Pepsi. I feel very afraid because I realize that once they run out, they're going to storm the plant and we're all going to fucking die. I can compete with it. In test markets, Crystal has exceeded projections. But the real success of Crystal is in its repeat business. Crystal is certainly not a flash in the pan. It's a brand that people look for, it's a brand they ask for, and they're buying it again and again. Crystal has just... And then I, and of course, I haven't seen it at all in my time on this fucking planet. So it must have been out for like a couple of years, and then it like ceased to fucking exist. Because I was a kid through like the remainder of the 90s after 95, all the way to like 2007, 2008, and I don't recall seeing it fucking once. 
And I'm actually really reaching far back in the fucking filing cabinet to think if I've ever seen it on the shelves going to the store with my parents as a small kid. And for the life of me, I can't fucking remember it. Generated the kind of following that guarantees that it will be around for a long time. Which is why not even three years later, you never see it again. Seriously, what kind of following is there? Like the, the cult of the cult of piss of the cult of Crystal Pepsi. May our clear and effervescent overlord bless you, Fizz. <laughs> We've captured new opportunities. We're doing it without cutting into our oh, sales of the core four. Only good thing in, this in our test market. markets, we've seen Crystal build overall Where's market sales. There it is. And the excitement yeah, behind the launch creates a need for our customers to, to give us shit? more display inventory. It's creating the dude's face. Like, what the fuck is this shit? Creating opportunities for our customers. Opportunities. And big opportunities for us. As customer representatives in the Total Beverage Company, we can help customers recognize the features and benefits of new Crystal Pepsi and Diet Crystal. And what exactly are the benefits of a soda? That makes the quote Jesus let's cook Jesus let's cook. <laughs> All new meaning. No Jesus. Show them the sales potential they have on their shelves, in their cold boxes, in their bins, and in their vents. Cold boxes, you mean refrigerators or coolers? <laughs> By increasing their I wear these stupid fucking overalls. I don't know why the fuck I'm doing that. Sales. You increase your sales and profits as well. If any place makes you wear overalls as a uniform and you're not working as a ranch hand, you gotta tell them to go fuck themselves. Just like if they make you wear that stupid fucking hat. <laughs> Crystal responds to consumer demand for variety and a machine, lighter a ranch hand, for fuck's sake. With its new look and new taste, Crystal is increasing traffic and increasing sales. It'll take over the fucking world, and then the whole world will tremble in the name of Crystal Pepsi. And it's a product that says Pepsi. Backed by... No shit. It's almost like that's the entire fucking brand. Advertising, here, point of purchase materials, here. and the talents and shit. support of Pepsi people. Here, let me draw this shit up here. As part of the Total Beverage Company, you'll make buying crystal right, easier and more convenient than ever here. for your customer. You'll bring the commitment of Pepsi, we're the not Total even Beverage Company, this fucking palette. that puts the customer first. Here, let me put With this crystal, bullshit in here. we'll be giving our customer excellent service, Wait, what? more than ever for your customer. Wait, what the fuck? You'll bring the commitment of Pepsi, like, none of this is the rap. Total Beverage none Company, of this that puts the customer first. With Crystal, we'll be yeah, let me just walk by with my bottle of wine like a fucking drug zombie. Our customer excellent service, a quality yeah, product, and a variety. Can someone explain to me why the hell the chick that walked by with a bottle of wine looked completely fucking shit-faced? Exactly, like, I would, like, being a, someone that was alive for, like, the last five years of the 90s, I never once fucking remember even seeing it on shelves. Variety that consumers are demanding. And by doing so, we'll capture opportunities for ourselves as well. How? Crystal in your trucks will drive sales in your stores. Well, of course, if, you're, if all the junkies realize you're selling meth, they're going to make money out the ass. Crystal will revitalize your carbonated soft drink sales. What kind of fucking place is hurting so bad for soda sales that they actually have to suck the dick of Pepsi to get by? As that's, a, that's a real question. That's not even me being a fucking cynical dick. It's a total beverage supplier. Here. You'll be an indispensable... Um, how the fuck are you gonna get those out? Are you gonna have to cut them and, like, take one out? Like, each one, like, layer by layer? Because you better have a forklift or some shit to get that shit out of there. Full resource for your customers. It's gonna fall on my fucking head and crush my skull. Well, that shit Crystal up. Pepsi and Diet Crystal are the perfect addition to Total Beverage. Yeah, I almost saw someone die at work this week. <laughs> like some poor fuck almost got crushed by something because it almost fell on his ass. It wasn't even really anyone's fault. It was just something that was like loosely placed up there. And my guess is it finally had been tilting enough to almost fall on some poor bastard. Luckily, it was like five feet to the left. Otherwise, it would have fucked him up. It gives us a clear advantage over the competition. No one else has anything like it. Just because someone doesn't have anything like it doesn't mean you have an advantage. That's like saying, I have a tumor on my kidney, but no one else has anything like it. Well, that doesn't mean you're more slated to succeed. That just means you have something that other people don't have at that moment. Can you imagine what would happen if like, they made like Crystal Coke? Like if Coca-Cola came out with like its own transparent soda. Next thing you know, people are lining up thinking they're going to be snorting or smoking at liquid. 
Future, it's crystal clear. Method for me. That sounds like the kind of shit that a meth head would make for a fucking commercial. OSHA violations. Walter White, the early years before he was a teacher. Yeah, like, he basically started out with making Crystal Pepsi, then a teacher, then Crystal Meth. Crystal. So now we're... It's Applied training and communications. Well, my question is this. How hard is it to say, well, given the fact that we believe this product has a good chance to increase your sales, we'd like to place it in your stores. That's all you'd have to fucking say. Like, you wouldn't need to do, like, A, B, C, D, E, and F. Boston. I wish they would have done something to edit that fucking static out. Jesus fucking Christ, it's killing my fucking ears. God damn. Okay, about to say, like, please tell me there's not, like, another 30 seconds of fucking static. You're really pushing this new Crystal Pepsi. What makes it different from every other soft drink? We couldn't even afford a real fucking background, so we drew the shit in crayon. We had Dave's, we had Dave's, like, art graduate, art school grad daughter do this shit for, like, 20 bucks. Jesus Christ. You're really pushing this new Crystal Pepsi. What makes it different from every other soft drink? Crystal Pepsi really is different from all other soft drinks. It's actually a crystal clear cola with 100% natural ingredients, no preservatives, no caffeine. That little people- I love how I'm blinking the entire time like I'm fucking lying to you. You know what? I'm going to save this. That fucking frame. It looks like it just got hit with a fucking... It looks like it got hit with a fucking shovel. <laughs> looks like it got hit across the head with a goddamn shovel. Black. Oh, God. Appeal to your health-conscious consumers. What the fuck is wrong with his eye? Is he all right? It looks like he's suffering a fucking stroke. That'll make more sales for you. Seriously, did did he suffer a stroke? Because it looks like he did, and like the poor guy hasn't bounced back all the way. And increase your profits. Oh, you poor son of a bitch! Oh God, no! Oh no! Features and benefits. What, does the Crystal Pepsi come with a fucking surround sound system? Seriously, it looks like the poor guy suffered a stroke. It looks like he has, like, that partial facial paralysis going on, like, when the lip droops. Like, part of me is really hoping that guy's alright, wherever he is now. Holy shit. I run a small, independent grocery store. Who's drinking Crystal Pepsi? Stop the tape. That way we can drill into your head the response you're going to need, like you're a goddamn android. God, that fucking static, though. I'm glad I don't have a hangover, because if I did, it would fucking kill me. This is the kind of shit where the static would cause your fucking head to explode if you were watching this with a hangover. I run a small, independent grocery store. Who's drinking Crystal Pepsi? Crystal Pepsi really- I love how we can't even afford a goddamn background. It appeals to everyone at all ages, especially the health conscious consumer. The consumer that's looking for an alternative uh, beverage. Crystal Pepsi- If you're looking for an alternative beverage, drink a sweet tea or lemonade or some shit. Why the fuck are you still drinking a soda? What what, what the fuck? It meets those consumers' needs because like, it has no caffeine. That's like a it also has low sodium point. and less calories than Pepsi. By carrying Crystal that Pepsi in your shit, store, no. you'll capture that customer, which will increase your sales and your profits. Yeah, it's her role. No, oh, Jesus. How are you merchandise, Crystal Pepsi? God damn! Sir, what happened to your teeth? I look like a piranha. Fuck me, I'll bite your fucking jugular open. This is your first and only warning. Drew's a nice guy, but goddamn. Poor guy. How are you merchandise Crystal Pepsi? We found that where we test marketed Crystal Pepsi. My eyes are so dilated, it looks like I've taken a hit of fucking. Seriously, her, her pupils are dilated as a motherfucker. 
Like, what the fuck did they give her before this fucking video was made? Because her eyes are so fucking dilated that it makes me wonder if she's been up for like four fucking days on a binge. We could hardly keep our shelves stocked. Mainly because we've infused it with methamphetamine, so it would be highly addictive to the consumer. Just like how the American government was experimenting on people with Agent Orange and didn't tell anyone for decades. So, what we did in order to prevent out of stocks was build some solo displays that actually prevent us from running out. And that will increase your sales and profits. Okay, that's not a bad thing to say at first. God damn the static. Fuck. I need to actually like start skipping the static because it's gonna be a fucking headache. How will Crystal Pepsi help increase sales in my store? Well, why wouldn't it? You'd make more money if more people are going to buy shit, wouldn't it? How will Crystal Pepsi help increase sales in my store? One of the nice things about Crystal Pepsi is that it has a unique flavor. What we found in our test markets was that 50% of the people who tried Crystal Pepsi came back to those same stores to buy it again. This repeat traffic means increased volume and increased profit for you. We've actually been secretly experimenting on them with genetic engineering. Give you <laughs> acid paper. We actually been hitting fucking acid dabs the whole fucking afternoon before this orientation started. Don't worry, it's just a sugar cube. Like the sugar cube. You're seeing fucking the whales and snakes flying over rainbows for like the next five days. How's Crystal Pepsi done so far? Is it here to stay? To answer that question, no, because I haven't seen it and like, I've never seen it. So far, is it here to stay? Crystal has been very successful in our test. 50% of the people that have tried it have come back and tried it again. This means additional customer purchases and repeat business, and that generates profits. Which is why I've never seen that shit. See, could hurt the sales of my other soft drink brands, like brand Pepsi. If you buy, you'll still buy regardless. In test markets where we have Crystal Pepsi, Pepsi sales have actually increased. Crystal Pepsi builds traffic, which means you'll have extra sales and extra profits. This is like you're trying to haggle with the motherfucker. It seems like they're trying to haggle with the store owner. It's like, look, it can make more money if you put our shit on the shelf, so get to it or I'll fucking stab you. It's like, it's like New Coke. No one liked it. Yeah, I heard New Coke sold horribly. My father told me, like, it was around the time he was, he was like, it was the 80s, it was like the 80s or 90s like this, and he said it did fucking awful. He's like, yeah, around the same time that, Chris, like, a little bit before Crystal Pepsi came out, there was this shit called New Coke. It was around the time that Crystal Pepsi came out. They were both fucking terrible because they were both trying to outcompete one another. And what happened is they got two shitty drinks that tasted even worse than the other. Okay, I'll put Crystal Pepsi into the section. But I now please put the gun away. <laughs> I have no more display space for another soft drink. All you need is us. <laughs> I'll put Crystal Pepsi into the section. But I have no more display space for another soft drink. Deal with it, bitch. You just see a dude with a fucking gun on the other side. Okay. I'll put Crystal Pepsi in before the and after several. But I have no more display now. space for another soft drink. I realize that the space is an issue, but I realize that my eyes are so incredibly dilated. You believe I'm a threat. <laughs> yeah, smoking the water usually does better than most. It's like, I understand that my eyes are so dilated, you think I've been hitting acid all, all fucking afternoon. But if you don't put this Crystal Pepsi in the goddamn store, I'll just shoot the fuck out of you. <laughs> Crystal Pepsi is providing a- I will stab you in the fucking liver, so help me God. Terrific return in the test markets. So, um, we found that the retailers that we've worked with- Don't fuck with me or I'll kill you, sir. <laughs> with have actually wanted the extra displays just to avoid eyes? running Holy out. Fuck. So in turn, I think that the extra- Like seriously. Are her eyes black? Did she get punched in the eye on each eye before she did this? Because her eyes look dark underneath them. And then her eyes are fucking super dilated. It's like she got the shit beaten out of her, then took a hit of acid before he started doing the orientation. Face will mean extra profits. I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> Profit for us. Profit for us, I mean. Your store won't see shit. 
the problem with a the problem with a job that you make money on commission is the fact that almost all this like the sales you make determine your income which means you gotta sell 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 oh you should have seen it earlier swain we had a dude in here that had like partial facial paralysis it looked like he got hit with a fucking shovel Bank. oh god <laughs> Tackling objections. Uh, it's very simple. If they object to putting our shit in the store, we simply say it's all right. And then we very calmly and very carefully escort them to the back of the store, snap their neck, and then we have someone assume the role as manager that will bend to our will, like any major corporation. <laughs> okay, you've convinced me. You can put your Crystal Pepsi display in place of the Pepsi display. display you know i understand that your display space is like this poor son of a bitch right here because part of his face looks like it's never moving and the other half is like it's like trying to move too much to compensate is that a premium in your store however we found that where we've sold crystal pepsi in the past the brand pepsi sales have actually gone up meaning incremental sales to you and higher profits me and my stupid overalls can agree to this <laughs> Seriously, like the overall, the overalls being part of their goddamn uniform. Man, that funny platinum blonde man talking about questioning authority and your brain being God is not your friend. Her eyes look, that's the thing, it looks like she's been fucking hitting acid dabs for hours. I'll go along with your entire proposal, except that thing about the cold barrel. I really don't have any room for it. You can keep your shit the fuck out of my barrel. About the cold barrel. I really don't have any room for it. Space is a concern, and I realize that that's true in all your stores. However, by having a cold barrel by your cash register, you'll be catching all those people on the go. We've seen that happen with other accounts who have cold barrels by their cashiers. They've ordered 15 to 20 incremental cases a week. Let me try to very quietly and very calmly social engineer you into making more room for our shit and potentially fucking other people. <laughs> Seriously, this is like this is Pepsi's way of trying to make their sale they're trying to make their salespeople like quietly fuck the other companies. <laughs> and that means more profits and more sales for Like that that is the equivalent of like a sneak fuck for you. The lunch crowd usually just runs in and grabs a sandwich and they're on their way. I really don't see how a cold barrel is going to do any good. Well, if some people that like crepes with Pepsi, they'll see the cold barrel and think, hey, I can grab this on the way out since it's right by the door. I realize your concern over putting a cold barrel in your deli. However, my haircut looks like it belongs in the ass end of a fucking muskrat and my skull looks like a fucking milk dud. Soft drinks and sandwiches are a natural link. Please forgive my thumb looking hand and the fact that the top of my head, my forehead is so incredibly large, it looks like an advertised Crystal Pepsi for myself. Seriously, if you wanted an advertising space, you should have just branded the words Crystal Pepsi on this poor fuck's forehead and have him walk around in uniform. If they're coming in, it'd be a better way to spread the word. Grab a sandwich, they're going to want to get something to drink. It makes sense for you to put that cold barrel right by the deli. Auto that way you can increase your, your sandwich advertising. sales and your soft drink sales, which leads to more profits. Don't fuck with me or I'll fuck you up. <laughs> Jesus. Times are tough now. I just don't think Crystal will sell in my store. Oh, believe me, it will. If your dental impression has any way to make it, I'm saying that it will. Pepsi. However, we've got a hot advertising campaign coming out on Crystal. Uh, that's going to draw customers into your store, and you can tap into that for increased sales and profit. It also appeals to the junkies that pop in on the lunch break to do a bit of meth and then bail out of the store promptly. I have like 20 seconds of silence, please. Thank you. Kind of bad when Dustin Nunn's You say Crystal Pepsi has a 2% market share? That's not big enough for me to worry about. Then go fuck yourself. We're not giving you more money. <laughs> you say Crystal Pepsi has a 2% market share? That's not big enough for me to worry about. Well, 2% seems small, but 2% represents the sale of all your niche brands in your store presently. 
Crystal will mean incremental sales and more profits to you. <clears throat> God, it ends with the fucking, it ends with that goddamn static. Not even once. Well, the thing is, though, like, I never even saw it once until, like, I saw, like, videos like this and advertisements that brought it up that were, like, from way back in the 90s. To me, it looks like it kind of died out in popularity after the main, like, fucking craze of it wore off. Just like the Ecto Cooler Kool-Aid that came out when Ghostbusters was still in theaters and shit. My father said him and my uncle used to love that shit, but after the fucking craze was gone, they couldn't fucking find it anywhere, which is kind of a shame. Because apparently everyone that fucking drank that shit loved it. Like, the green Kool-Aid that reminded them of the fucking Slimer from the second Ghostbusters film. Like, people loved that shit. Well, I hope everyone had a good evening. I'm gonna get back to doing something or other. Everyone take care of yourselves. Thank everyone again for the 500 marker. We will do another one of these once I reach 1,000 and so on and so forth. Everyone take care of yourselves. And it's time for me to get the fuck out of here. Thank you all for your support, and I will continue to making more shit that people might find funny in the future.